Hey, Travis. Yes. How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Very good, man. Uh, glad to glad to get a chance to talk to you. Yeah, glad to have you. Uh, you've given me some good reviews in the past, brother. I'm a big fan. A big fan of no, your work. you've done some good. I really appreciate it. And also, you've had uh, some really good uh, commentary regarding the pictures and stuff like that. You know, it's very difficult to get uh, people to understand that I don't have a hundred million bucks to work with. Right. No, uh, absolutely. That's one of the things I like about the, your movies that you do. You work with what you got and you make the best of it. I like yeah. that. But yeah. uh, thanks, thanks for talking to me about Gunner. Um, uh, and I'm anxious to hear about it. Um, I, uh, if you don't mind, uh, talk to me a little bit about, uh, well, first of all, describe to our audience uh, what Gunner's about. We we know that it starts Luke Hemsworth and, and Morgan Freeman, but uh, talk to me what, what the story's about. Well, you know, uh, I've been working with a with a friend of mine, uh, Gary Scott Thompson, who wrote the Fast and Furious, yeah. uh, the original first two Fast and Furious films. And uh, I got this project a few years back, and I really liked it a lot because it's it's a very simple project uh, that that kind of harkens to Taken. You know, it has that kind of feeling to it. It, it harkens to the early Stallone stuff, you know, mm -hmm. it's about uh, a guy who is a lifer um, and who has been in as a ranger for years. And he's gone on several tours of duty and consequently he doesn't really know his kids and his wife, you know, and his wife said to him, if you go on another tour, I'm going to leave you. I can't do this anymore. You know? Um, and so he comes back and, um, uh, it's in a small, it takes place in a small town, Virginia. And he says, uh, well, I'd like to take the, the, the boys on a camping trip to get to know them a little better and spend some time with their father, you know? And so he takes them on a camping trip and they accidentally trip over uh, a drug lab where they're manufacturing and shipping fen -fen, fentanyl. Mm -hmm. And so they grab his kids, his two boys. And uh, the problem is that these guys grab the, uh, the kids of the wrong guy. And, uh, so he spends uh, the rest of the story going and getting his kids back. So instead of uh, fighting for God and country, he's fighting for family, which is something that resonates with all of us. You know? And uh, and Luke is such a wonderful actor. I got to tell you, he's just really good. And what can I say about Morgan Freeman? <laughs> well, our I mean, our our audience will love to hear that this movie is from uh, based in Virginia, because that is where we are based out of. Uh, right. as well in Virginia. So that that's also really cool. Uh you like you mentioned that you're working with Gary Scott Thompson. And obviously, like you said, the, one of the creators of the Fast and Furious franchise. What has that been like? Uh, working with somebody who launched this epic, epic thing and working on this film with him. What's that what's that been like? Well, you know, Gary sent me this script and I'm also working with Gary, believe it or not. He is attached to my kickboxer TV series. Oh wow! So we've been pitching the the uh, kickboxer as a TV series. I did not know that. Quite a while now, you know. Um, is that is that taking place of uh, taking the place of the third film? No, no, well, we're going to do. They're separate. They're two different things because okay. this is uh, that TV series is, is the center story is about a brother that you don't know, uh, one of the Sloan brothers who is in jail. Uh, and, uh, he gets pulled out by the CIA. Um, and uh, he's he becomes a, a kind of a a front, you know. The government uh, often uses uh, superstar athletes, and they attach agents to them to be able to infiltrate places that nobody can go to. Interesting. And you know, if you know anything about, uh, you know, Mike Tyson was in one of my movies. Mm -hmm. and Mike gets invited, you know, by Putin. Uh, yeah, to go and hang out with Putin and the guy who runs Crimea, and you know what's going on in South Korea, and I mean. Yeah. These guys go places that, you know, you nobody else could ever get into. Right. So we use that as the as as the front uh for the for this particular series. It can be a lot of fun. That sounds um, really interesting. I, I'm 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 really excited for that. I'm ex as excited for that as I am for the third kickboxer movie. So yeah, that sounds really cool. Yeah, really well, cool. I mean, that's pardon me. That's what I'm working on uh now. Um but I'm cutting Gunner. And Gunner's just going to be really cool, man. I mean, I've done a, it's a completely different look with a completely different feel. And it's, I think everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised. You know, I brought my team from Thailand 
that uh, the stunt team that worked uh, with me on the kickboxer series as well as jujitsu. Yeah. And so they're doing some really incredible stunts in it. Um, but I think you're going to see a, a completely different feeling out of this film. And Luke, surprisingly enough, ended up doing all of his stunts himself. Oh, wow. So and he's, he's cool. a pretty good athlete. <laughs> that you, you got you mentioned Morgan Freeman. It's not often that we get to see him play kind of a bad guy role in this. How did you take to that? And what was it like working with him uh, in that kind of role? Well, it was my idea because I've seen him do it a few times. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I never really like bad guys that you don't like. You know, <laughs> I always like bad guys that are likable. Right. Because yeah. I don't I don't believe that bad guys are not likable. I think they believe in what they're doing. And I think right. the reason they get away with it is because they're very, very charismatic. You know, right. the best bad guys don't think they're bad guys. No, you know, I mean, around the world, by the way. And so Morgan, he just, he just delivers all these lines and he's such, he's just so likable, you know? And I think that's, and plus he's a powerful actor. Mm -hmm. And so I think you're going to see an incredible performance come out of him. Um, and so I'm just really excited about this film, man. I mean, I haven't been this excited in years about a project. So. I can tell. I can tell you're you're hyped over it. Um, you, I think you've had a longer career than a lot of people realize. What are some of the things you've learned from you know the start of your career, going through the kickboxing movies to jujitsu, another film I really liked, uh, to this? What are some of the things you've learned from the beginning to now that that kind of led up to that you could that you were able to bring to to Gunner? Well, I mean. You know, I've learned to go with my instincts mm. and to stick to my instincts and to not try to do something. You know, a lot of younger filmmakers that I talk to are constantly thinking about what the audience wants. Mm. And I found that early on in my career to be a mistake. Mm. I think you have to do what you really like and what you really get turned on by and what you really are passionate about and hopefully what you're going to really like and respond to is what everybody's going to really like and respond to if you have a kind of a you know as an artist you I'm, I'm the kind of artist that doesn't want to do stuff that I keep at home that I'm the only one that gets to see right I like to do things that everybody's going to kind of go wow man that was pretty cool you know um and so I've learned to just stick with my own instincts and not question them and uh, so far, they've worked. <laughs> and so that's really what I've liked. I've learned not to question myself. Um, early on in television, I was able to do an awful lot of action television mm -hmm. and learn what works and what doesn't. You know, with television, I always tell everybody, it's kind of like the Marine Corps. Um, you've got six or seven days to shoot an hour of action. Um, and then you better make some good choices. And you'll look at them you know, in about a month and you'll go, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Or, oh, wow, that's cool. That really worked, you know? So I've, I've managed to hang on to a lot of that, but primarily it's just to trust in yourself and uh, to trust that uh, this is going to be really cool. And there's no excuses. I mean, you know, I, I started out by telling you that, you know, I don't have those kind of budgets to work with, but audiences don't care about that. Right. What they care about is deliver something entertaining, you know? And uh, they don't really care what it costs. They just want it to work. Yeah. I uh, I don't know if you knew, I I, I do a series for jillbull.com called Real Action, which basically goes back to like revisits like the the action movies of the eight, 70s and 80s, the canon days and things like that. Your movies remind me a lot of that era in the best way possible. Like mm -hmm. I like I really dig your films. I like that. I like that they don't come with like expansive budgets and they kind of you know, I like the the kind of the, the grittiness of them. I love the, that stuff. It reminds me of those movies. And um, and I'm more curious about what some of your influences, like if some of your influences are from that era when you're making movies now. Well, of course. I mean, how can you get away from that? And thank you so much. That's a very kind thing to say. Um, you know, I've always really appreciated the underdog. And I've always thought that that's something to convey. You know, when I grew up as a kid, you know, I came here as an immigrant and um, I walked into America, the best country in the world as an underdog. And so everything that I've done so far has always been, you can't do this and you can't do that. I've been listening to that my whole life. 
And so I think consequently, the characters that I pick are those guys. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. You're never going to be able to pull this off. You'll never be able to say you're never going to be able to go up against 100 guys, blah, blah, blah. And I think it's a wonderful thing to if you're going to entertain somebody. I mean, I'm not expecting to change the world, but I'm expecting to give somebody an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes of relief so that they have a good time. They live vicariously through the lead who really has absolutely no way of ever possibly winning. Okay? Right. And he wins. And I think if I can inspire people uh, around the world to believe that there's nothing that's impossible um, and have a good time watching it, I think then I've, I've done a pretty good job, you know. Uh, lastly, before we go, I know our audience would be would would kick me in the butt if I didn't mention Joseph Baena, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, who's also uh, going to be in this movie. Uh, how was he uh, working on the set? Uh, what's his character like in the film? And uh, yeah, in general, how was he? Well, he's a he's a friend of my producing partner, Joel's, and Joel suggested that we might want to bring him out and and uh, do a little something small with him. And I wanted to meet him, you know, and he's terrific, man. He's got a great personality. He's very positive, as you can imagine. You know, his father is very positive uh, all the time. And he's always got a positive outlook. He's very, very gracious, uh, uh, has a, an awful lot of, uh, mm, you know, please, thank you. I really appreciate this. Mm -hmm. he's a he's a completely different breed for a younger guy i mean he really is a completely different breed so it was really a lot of fun to work with him well dimitri this has been fantastic uh does gunner have a release date yet or is uh has that been set at this point no it hasn't but i suspect if i deliver the picture to the distributors around june mm, it's a possibility that they might get it out in november but i probably think it'll be more like january Okay, well, I look forward to talking to you more about Gunner when it releases, and I, I definitely would love to talk to you about the future of Kickboxer and anything else that you're working on. Like I said, uh, I'm a big fan. Our readers are fans, uh, so I, I appreciate this time that you're taking with me. Listen, man, you should try. I mean, we, we're, we'll we get you an invitation to the uh, premiere because we can have premieres again after COVID. Yeah. But we'll I get would, you an invitation. I if you want to come out to L.A., you should come and watch it in L.A. You know, I, I come out to L.A. all the time. I would love to come to this. I would definitely be there for it. All right, man. You got it. Thanks for checking out the show. If you like what we're laying down, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest stuff.